guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another get ready with me first impressions where I talk you through trying out some new products. The products that I tried out for today's look is the NARS Deep Throat Blush. Now I have a sample of this. I definitely think you don't need more than the sample sizes of these, but this is so, so pretty. I actually am really, really liking this. I'm also trying out the Chi Chi, if I could turn back time, baked eyeshadow, which is super duper pretty, and a nice sort of alternative to my Mary Luminizer in an eyeshadow form. I would never use this as a highlighter though. And the final product we're trying out today is the Kit Lipstick in Love Chaser, which again I have on now. It's a really, really pretty wearable corally pink, and it just looks like this. I think they're absolutely stunning products and I'm glad that I picked them up and I'm glad that you guys got to see my reaction to them. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first of the products I'm going to try out is the NARS Deep Throat Blush. I forgot what it was called then because uh, it's a really, really nice sort of natural coral brightening pink color and I've never tried it. So let's give it a go. It's actually really, really pretty. It's got the same sheen in it as um, Orgasm does. It's actually giving me a really, really nice glow, which I'm really happy about. I actually really like this. This might be my new favorite NARS blush, actually. I really, really like it. And just because we are going for a glowy look, I'm going to pop on a little bit of my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle just to brighten up the skin. I really like those two together as well. It's just giving me such like a healthy glow. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but nice and healthy looking. And I'm going to take the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded and apply that on my lid just to prime the eyes. And now for the second product, which is the Chi Chi Eyeshadow in If I Could Turn Back Time, which is this really, really beautiful golden champagne shade and I'm going to take a flat shader brush and apply this all the way across my lid and up just slightly onto into my crease and stuff like that because I don't think I'm going to be using a crease color today. Oh yeah it's super duper pretty I really like this. I don't know if you can tell how much light this actually is reflecting. I've got a little teeny bit of fallout, but nothing too horrendous. Yeah, super duper pretty. And I'm just going to take that along the sort of inner third of my lower lash line. Just to really brighten that up and put a fair whack of it in the inner corner to give me really bright eyes. I'm just going to take a shadow that's the same color as my skin and buff that up like under my brow to blend in that shadow so I just get a really nice gradient effect. And a tiny little bit of just a shimmery shade right at the very top underneath my brow just so I'm not killing that sheen completely. And now with a wet angled brush I'm going to take half baked from Urban Decay and do a really heavy lower lash line. So that's super duper pretty. I'm just going to dust away any fallout. There wasn't much, but you know, keep it clean. And we're keeping the eyes really, really simple today. I'm just going to line them with the L'Oreal Super Liner So Couture, which is amazing to give myself really nice, you know, defined eyes because we've gone so like bright with the shadows. So Let's do this. So now that we have nice dramatic eyeliner on, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm still trying out the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara, so I'm going to pop that on again today. So that is the eyes complete. I really like them. The top shadow is definitely a much more like silvery gold than the half-baked, 
but I think it's really, really pretty in a combination. And the last product I'm going to be trying out today is the Kit Lipstick in Love Chaser. Again, Kit's packaging is adorable. Can we just also talk about how nice their bullets are? This is actually metal and it's like really weighty and it just feels really, really nice. And then this is the color that we're using. I feel like it's sort of a bright mid-tone coral pink. So let's have a look, shall we? It's very, very creamy. It's definitely got some sheen to it. It's actually, it actually really, really reminds me of Orgasm Blush in a lipstick. They're not the most super duper pigmented lipsticks in the world, but they're pigmented enough, which is nice. So that's the lipstick. It's a very, very wearable pink shade. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I'm not sure if I would necessarily wear this lip color with these eyes, but it's definitely a really nice color. It feels really smooth on the lips. There's no offensive scent or taste, which is nice. The shimmer isn't too chunky or anything like that. And yeah, the color is really nice. It's a nice wearable shade. you enjoyed this little first impressions video I really enjoy doing these and I really like all the products that I have tried out I think they're good products so I'm excited to incorporate them into my everyday makeup routine um, yeah thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up and um, if you'd like to see more of my videos make sure to check out my channel just by clicking on the subscribe button down below and yeah I will talk to you guys all really really soon have a great day bye